Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to continue going through our conveyor exercises. And in our last video, we discovered that we had a flaw in our program. So let's go ahead and recap where we were at. Also, before we even get started, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. In this video, we are using Industrial Concepts Conveyor Trainer along with our Alan Bradley Compact Logics Trainer, and I will put links to both of those in the description. We also have videos on how we've interfaced the two. We've done some basic start-stop control. We've gone through how to do some sorting. And in the last video, what we said was if our tray is full or mainly our count is above four, we want to stop our conveyor. And it did work. However, we had an unplanned learning opportunity. And that's what I like to call these. We don't have a flaw. We have a learning opportunity. So let's go through exactly what happened. So let's take all of our parts back off of there. We'll take these parts off. And we're going to hit the green button, which resets our counter. And then I am going to drop our first shiny part. So there's one shiny part. Here's two shiny parts. Of course, at any time, we can also drop a black part and it'll come down to there. Then we had a third shiny part. Here's where our problem came in as I dropped a black part and the shiny right behind it. And the conveyor stopped with a black part on it. So a couple things before we even start looking at our program is I see this so often is you've got a program almost working and you just need to get this thing moving a little further and it would be done. And people start just adding code to it, just trying to make it work. Is the first thing we need to identify is what is the problem? Obviously we have a part on it and first we can be like, oh gosh, if it just had another half a second, it would have worked perfectly. Next thing you know, we're adding a time delay just to get that thing to run a little bit more. But we haven't thought about the big picture. What are other times that this could be an issue? And let, let's reset it and just talk about a big one. And so in this one, I dropped that black part right before the aluminum part. What if we did the opposite? So I'm going to drop a shiny part, we'll drop a second one, we'll drop a third one, drop a fourth one, and then we'll drop a black one. Now, while we're initially, we thought, man, if I just had a half a second more, well now we got one stuck all the way over here. So it's not just that we need a slight bit more time, we need now some will think a lot more time. So this delay that we need, we actually already have. We've just got to think about how to use it better. So right now we're saying if the part present sensor is not made, or mainly we don't have a part here, four or five seconds, then stop the conveyor. Well, we need to make this counter full and this counter full actually trigger that part present timer. So let's do that. And we have to think a little bit about how. And so let's talk about, in fact, let's talk it out. Let's talk when exactly do we want to stop this conveyor? And you're going to kind of end up saying the logic that you need because we want to stop it, one, if we don't have a part present. Or if our shiny part tray is full or the counter is done. Or if our black part is done. And every one of those ORs is a branch. So first we said no part present. Well, we have it right here. That is no part present. So now we're going to edit this and we're going to add a branch. So OR, the shiny parts timer is done. So that would be examine on shiny parts dot dn and then we can right click here now that's something i don't know if i've actually touched on is you may be tempted and it doesn't really matter it, i shouldn't say that there is a slight difference but you could hit another branch you could put it around that or you can actually right click here 
and add branch level. And see that made it a little difference. Instead of straddling it, it actually just kind of extended that ladder down. And so this one we want to examine on black parts dot done. Okay, so this now, whether it is the conveyor not present or the shiny parts counter is done or the black parts counter is done, will enable this timer, which is going to stop our conveyor. So we no longer need this shiny parts done and this black parts done because we have them right here. So let's change this rung and take out our shiny and black parts. Okay, so now let's see how this works. So I'm going to hit my green reset. So we'll clear the rest of this off. And I'm going to hit my green reset. And immediately we've got a black part. Then we'll drop a shiny one in. All right, we'll drop another shiny. Then we'll drop a black. We'll drop a shiny. Okay, and here was the issue. We dropped a shiny and a black right behind it. So there you go, we've solved our problem. So let's just make sure, and here's the thing guys, when you make changes to your program, you do need to retest. At this point, we should not walk out the door and say this thing's done, see you later. We, we need to test it fully again. So, we're going to start, we're just going to run, we're hit our reset. We're going to start for shiny, let's just hit a shiny. Good, we hit another shiny. Good, we hit another shiny. Good, we hit another one. And we wait a little bit, it should stop. Okay, now we need to test our black. So I'm going to just hit the reset button, we're going to drop four black ones in there. So one. Two, three, four, looking pretty good. Okay, this time let's just hit some randomness. Let's just throw, let's throw a couple blacks at it, throw a couple shinies at it, and then throw another black, throw another shiny. I think we got it. I think we can say that we're thoroughly tested now. Now, let me take that back. We are thoroughly tested with the parameters we have today. That doesn't say this machine will be operated the same way tomorrow. And so there are always new learning opportunities. And if you happen to run into one of them, feel free to put it down in the comments and we'll see what we can do about troubleshooting it. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.